The US Navy recently announced its first live fire test of the new AGM 88G Advanced Anti Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range, or AAR GM ER. A Naval Air Systems Command press release states that the missile was launched from an FA 18F Super Hornet and met all of the objectives set for this test. The drill was conducted using a telemetry round without a warhead. As per reports, the test took place on July 19, 2021, off the coast of the Point Mugu Sea test range. Captain A.C. Count Dutko, Navy Program Manager for Direct Time Sensitive Strike PMA 242, stated, The AAR GM ER was successfully launched from the FA 18 aircraft and met the key test objectives of a first missile live fire event. The government and industry team had great focus and was able to conduct this test event three months earlier than originally envisioned. Northrop Grumman, the main contractor for the AGM 88G, stated that the live fire test took place three months earlier than expected and demonstrated the long range capability of the new missile design. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how AAR-GM ER missile of the U.S. military would neutralize enemy's air defense systems. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Air superiority is the key to modern warfare. U.S. military is by far the most well-equipped one in the world when it comes to ruling the skies. It has the best aircraft, very well-trained pilots, and many bases, as well as launch platforms, including more than 10 aircraft carriers. To counter this, near-peer rivals of the U.S. like Russia and China have deployed sophisticated air defense systems as part of the anti-access and area denial A2AD strategy. Russia has deployed S-300, S-400, and is in the process of operationalizing S-500. China has HQ-9 SAM. Even second-class powers like Iran have developed indigenous air defense systems that have decent capabilities. For reference, Iran has operationalized Kordad-15, claimed to be indigenously developed. These weapons could inflict a huge amount of damage to the U.S. military's aerial assets like fighters, bombers, aerial tankers, and airborne warning and control system aircraft. ARM, or Anti-Radiation Missile, is seen as a counter to advanced air defense systems. This kind of missile is designed to detect and home in on an enemy radio emission source. Typically, these are designed for use against an enemy radar, although jammers and even radios used for communications can also be targeted in this manner. This type of missile is commonly carried by specialist aircraft in the Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses SEAD, role. The primary purpose of this type of missile is to degrade enemy air defenses in the first period of a conflict in order to increase the chances of survival for the following waves of strike aircraft. They can also be used to quickly shut down unexpected surface-to-air missile SAM sites during an ongoing air raid. Radars are like eyes of the air defense, and once it's taken out, it becomes severely handicapped. Often, SEAD escort aircraft also carry cluster bombs which can be used to ensure that, after the ARM disables the SAM system's radar, the command post, 
missile launchers and other components or equipment are also destroyed to guarantee that the SAM site stays down. AARGM is an air-launched weapon intended to destroy enemy air defense systems. It offers improved capabilities over the HARM or high-speed anti-radiation missile system it replaces. The AARGM features new software and enhanced capabilities to counter jamming through electronic warfare. Previous versions of the missile could be dodged by turning off the radar before the weapon could lock onto their signals. AARGM contains a multi-mode guidance package containing a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system as well as millimeter wave radar that can locate targets even if they stop emitting radio frequency or other signals or even begin to move. AARGM ER is an extended range version of the current AARGM weapon. AARGM ER uses the same sensors, electronics, and warheads as its predecessor, the AARGM. However, differences include a larger rocket engine and tail upgrades to extend its range and improve its maneuverability. The missile also has its mid body wings removed and replaced with a short strake along its length. AARGM has a range of 150 kilometers or 92 miles, whereas AARGM ER will have a range of 300 kilometers or around 185 miles. The missile can also relay data in its final moments to confirm whether or not it successfully hit its intended target. The AARGM ER is currently being integrated on the US Navy's FA 18 E and F and EA 18G aircraft, and eventually will be integrated with F 35's internal weapons carriage. The long range will enable the AARGM ER to be launched from a standoff distance, meaning it should be able to outrange an adversary's air defense missiles. Importantly, the missile has the capability to network with sources other than the launching platform. This means launching aircraft can fire the weapon without even acquiring a target's emissions and use data from other platforms to take on an enemy asset. The features of the missile make it highly suitable and precise for engaging rivals' air defenses from standoff ranges.